I want to say thank you so much for being here for your first part for, for this morning. I have to, I, we have to say we are so blessed to just see this many people, this many people here with us this early in the morning. I have to say to Wallace Sheep, we are just so blessed to have this many people uh, be with us, to join us uh, already. We cannot thank you enough. So I'm going to keep my words short today. I'm going to keep my words short. And I want to talk a little bit about, you know, what the wall of sheep really is. What do we do? And the techniques to really, really do well, not only here at wall of sheep, but also to get the most out of DEF CON. So first things first, what do we do? What's our mission here at the wall of sheep at the packet hacking village? Our mission is simple is to educate and to give you awareness in security. Is to give you security aware, is to give you basic, uh, the basic knowledge, okay? Our mission is just security awareness. So, how do we accomplish that mission? We've been uh, synonymous, you know, we, I don't need to get into, you know, how we've been a part of DEF CON for a long time. Yes, I mean, many years ago, the wall of sheep with us. I mean, I'm sure you've heard all the stories about, you know, usernames and passwords, you know, being displayed on the board. But our humble roots began on paper plates and one table. Okay? Let that sink in to how much we have grown over the years. Now we literally have our own village of many, many different events to accomplish that mission. We here at the wall of sheep, we're all volunteers. Most of us have paid, most of us pay our way here. Okay? We're all volunteers, and we're here to just offer hands-on events. Okay? Now, a very important point, a very important item I want to ask. Who here, who here is this is your first DEF CON? Who is this your first DEF CON? Okay. So, for those of you who are new here to DEF CON, um, we really, really welcome you here. And for those of you who are new, we want you to get the most and learn, learn as much as you can from this wonderful venue. Because my first DEF CON was in 2006, and it has not only it has changed my life, and it has set me up for greater things. Get the most out of this this, this conference. Take a look in front of you, the person in front of you, the person next to you, the person behind you. Make, work, see if you can work with your, with, with that person. One of the things that's gotten significantly hard over the last few years at DEF CON, I mean this place has gotten really big. Um, but I encourage you to collaborate, make friends, because you will learn, you will probably learn more by speaking and talking one-on-one -on -one with that person in front of you, next to you, or behind you. As much as going to the talk, if not more than going to the talks. And hopefully we here at the Packet Hacking Village will help you accomplish that. Because back in the days, I will never forget just sitting at the table, you know, and learning about networking, learning about what network sniffing is. And, uh, you know, I, and those people that I talked to at my first DEF CON, I still talk to today. It's hard to do now because the conference has gotten so big, but it's probably the most valuable thing that you can get out of this conference. So my warmest welcomes, especially for you, if this is your first DEF CON. Make the most out of this, okay? So I'm just going to keep it to the bare bone basics. The what do we really, like how do we, I talked about what, who we are, what we accomplished, but let's talk about the bread and butter. The bread and butter of generally everything that we've done since, uh, you know, since Wallace Sheep ha at DEF CON had been network sniffing. So what really, what is network sniffing? Bare bone in plain English. What it is, is analyzing 
the network traffic for files, conversation, videos, music, and of course, username and passwords can be used for good and bad. How we do network sniffing here, okay, we actually are given, and it's no secret that we are given a a access to all the network traffic from the DEF CON open network, wireless network, okay? And yes, you are more than welcome and you are strongly encouraged to volunteer and help out at the wall of sheep table, right there where the light is, okay? You are more than welcome to help us out, you know, sniff and record the network packets, capture username and passwords that you find, okay? The process is we give you access, we give you a line, we give you access to the span port, of the DEF CON wireless network. You record the network traffic, and of course you analyze the traffic for anything that, you know, may be of interest. You know, like username and password. And most of the traffic, a significant percentage of the wire traffic on the DEF CON network is all unencrypted. Plain text, okay? So that's the fundamental of what, you know, the bread and butter of what we do. What about the tools? What about the tools that you use? Yeah, I mean, there's many, many tools, you know, to do the, ne- uh, you know, to, to, you know, read the packets, analyze the uh, network traffic. You know, there are many, many tools, but the bread and butter, the bread, you know, the real basic tool that you really, really need to learn, you know, I'm going to give you three, three command lines, the three tools that you really, really ought to know. We don't do anything elaborate. The, bo- the bottom line is we don't do anything really truly elaborate to get, you know, usernames and passwords. The first tool that you really have to know is ifconfig. What ifconfig is is the tool to just see what the, wi- what the network interfaces are, uh, you know, and also to configure them as well. TCP dump. TCP dump, the grand old man, we use to... You know, and you can do all sorts of uh, packet analysis with this. We use this to, I, uh, we use this to uh, record all the packets. Wireshark is a more extravagant, extravagant version of TCP dump. It's graphical, very, very similar to uh, TCP dump, but it's also used for, you know, if they have features for filtering, reconstructing files and conversation. You notice one very important thing. All three of these tools, they're all well-known, well, you know, battle-tested, and open source, okay? They're all open source. Now, if you have a, uh, if you have a Linux system uh, or a Mac, if config, TCP dump, they're already built in, okay? Wireshark, you typically want to, uh, you, you, you will need to install if you have like a Mac, Windows, um, Mac, Windows, Linux system. Now, you know, there's a quick and dirty way to get started. The quick and dirty way to get started is use a Linux distribution like Kali. Kali Linux, which contained not only the tools that I just listed and the real basics that you need, but it also contains other stuff such as networks, uh, for, uh, such as uh, steganography, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi cracking, uh, password cracking, uh, uh, forensics, you know, and then some, okay? But to really get started is, let's say you're going to be volunteering at the Wall of Sheep. You want to first and foremost put your network card into something called promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode, look at all the packets regardless of destination uh, IP address. Just a little analogy here. You may be familiar with something called uh, the post office, the mailman. Okay. Do you want to be, do you typically read your neighbor's mail? Do you? Okay, you only read the mail that is given to you. But what you want to do, the first step that you want to do in network analysis, uh, network traffic analysis, is you want to read everyone's mail. That's what promiscuous mode is. Okay? Second thing is you also want to just do something called disabling address resolution protocol. ARP. Okay? You don't want to be broadcasting who you are. You don't want to be broadcasting to everyone your home address. Okay? I hope I made this really, really, really layman in lay terms what to really do. 
Okay, so you want to read everyone's mail, and but you also don't want to be broadcasting your own address. That's step number one. Once you get those first two steps, you know, well, once you get those first two steps, then you can use a tool like TCP dump, you know, then you can use a tool like TCP dump to start recording all the network traffic, get all the mail. Okay? So, in real short terms, if you want a quick example, okay, you want to, I'm just going to give you a real quick example. How do you actually do this if you are on a hard wire? Imagine if your hard wire interface is ETH0. Okay? You want to put, okay, putting your, okay, to do this, exactly what I said to, uh, you know, read everyone's mail and not broadcasting your address, the commands using if config, ARP, and of course, last but not least, you know, record all the network traffic into 64 megabyte PCAP file. A PCAP file is a collection of all the packets, the network traffic that, yeah, that, that is being recorded. Okay? So, this is a very simple example using ifconfig, ARP, and TCP dump. First line, okay, read everyone's mail. Second line, ARP, don't broadcast your address. Third line, start recording the network traffic, saving them on your computer. Okay? So, this is just a real basic example. Now, I did not, I'm not going to talk about how you use Wireshark, no, you know, Wireshark. We're going to have many presentations here that uh, he, that are going to be here, that are going to be, you know, that are going to use Wireshark and give you even tutorials as well how to use those tools. I don't want to make this into a very deep, deep tutorial, but perhaps, you know, I want to give you some insights. I've given you some really, really basic information, but perhaps if you're new, who is new to all of the, who's new to all of this? Raise your hand if you're all, if you're new to all of this. If you're new to all of this, you know, even if you are a vet, even if you are an interview, you know, you think you're, you know, intermediate skilled, you know, where do you go from here? You know, where do you go from here? And I want to give you some insight on how to sharpen your skills. You know, first, first and foremost is know what the insecure protocols are. You know, the protocols where all the tra network traffic is in plain text. Some examples are HTTP, Telnet, and POP, you know, for mail. We still now see a lot of people that have, uh, let's say, those things called phones that auto-connect to the, uh, that open, uh, the, the, the next uh, uh, open Wi-Fi uh, device. And then, that, and then that's becoming a trend. We're starting to see a lot of plain tech unencrypted traffic coming from phones. Highly encouraged, that, strongly recommended that you learn basic, basic command line tools like grep for searching and man to read the manual to get options on different, on different uh, tools and command like TCP dump. Okay, these, that's your basic, uh, basic for survival. Learn basic networking concepts like our handshaking in TCP IP and more about promiscuous mode. And of course, learning how to sniff, validate sniff password and reconstruct files. For example, you may, when you work at Volunteer at the Wall Sheep, you may find a username and password pair. However, it may, be, uh, it may be a trap. How do you actually go and validate that's actually a legitimate username and password pair? So, these are some real basic insights to how to sharpen your skills, whether you're new to DEF CON, whether you're a veteran, okay, of all of this. And we here at the Packet Hacking Village, you know, we give you many, we, will, we have the, uh, we give you the opportunities to sharpen your skills, okay? Volunteer at the Wall of Sheep, we give you a fee, we give you a line to, the, to all the network traffic from the unencrypted DEF CON open, uh, to the uh, DEF CON open uh, wireless network. We have Packet Detective right be all behind me in the, in the back corner uh, that, you know, you can, will learn how to repack, capture, you know, your given pack, uh, pack, packet sets you know, decipher username and password, reconstruct files and conversations such as from voice over IP. We have a full slate of speaker workshops today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Okay? Play the Wi-Fi sheep hunt, which is at the table where the light is. Understand, you know, issues with uh, emerging technologies. You know, we have that in the back next to the DJ. And of course, to my left, we have captured a packet Okay, a good, wonderful competition, 
Okay, in the past, this event has been a black badge event for DEF CON. So, I've given you some real, real basic, basic advice. Who we are and what we do. For those of you, this is your first DEF CON. Again, welcome again. But, if we're going to close, I'm going to close with one thought here. You know, ultimately the goal, you know, of all of this that we're putting together, not only to give you security awareness, but we also hope there is one goal that you can also take away from this experience, not only at the Packet Hacking Village, but also at DEF CON, and that is for you to go, to, to be a good citizen. Okay? We want you to, you know, be a good citizen, inform others, you know, inform others, teach the, teach others who are, who are completely clueless about this so they don't become sheeps. I was in line for coffee this morning, you know, and there was a wonderful woman from Rhode Island that asked, like, what do we do? There are a lot of people, the majority of the people, let this sink in. They're not like you and me. Most of them are completely clueless about all the stuff that is happening. And the future is not, I mean, we're still fighting the same security issues as we have been 15 years ago to now. Okay? We hope that your experience at DEF CON and here at the Packet Hacking Village will shape you to be a good citizen and will help, we hope that you will get the, the information that you get out of here, you will teach to other people as well. So that's the ultimate goal of this, and we hope that you become good citizens. So now, I want to pass the mic over to a very, very special guest. Five more minutes? In five minutes, we have, we have a very, very special guest. We have a very special guest, Monzi Mirza. He's, a chief, uh, he's the chief security evangelist at Splunk. Now, he's going to join us on, he's going to be on stage in five minutes, okay? He's going to give a training on, uh, I think it's something with incident handling, okay? So, thank you again. Make yourself a home here at the Packet Hacking Village. Eat this whole experience up, okay? Learn as much as you can. Uh, and again, thank you so much. And, you know, we are a complete loss of word. We, you know, words cannot describe uh, how grateful we are for your support here. So, in five minutes, there will be a new talk. And at 11 o'clock, we have a very, very, uh, we have an old friend that will be coming to, uh, from Mobile Lion to speak about uh, mobile. So, thank you so much. Okay, stay tuned. Next speaker up in a few minutes.